Hey there everyone, this is Matt. Today we're here in Georgetown, it's March 3rd, and Nike just had an event for the release of these shoes. These are the Nike Lunar Epics in Flyknit. They're really cool, they go for 175, and I was able to attend this event. Thank you so much, by the way, for Nike for inviting me. It's really cool, really personal and private, but I was able to try these on, be one of the first to get them, and um, this is really what I think of these shoes. I go for a pair called the Nike Free Run Flyknit 3.0, and those shoes are very, they're very like running with no shoes at all, but with just some support. Now these shoes, they have a lot more support. They have a lot more cushion here and here, and they give you two different types of insoles. One insole is really kind of thicker in the back, but thinner in the front. The second pair of insoles, which I have in here now, is thick here and thick here. Now, what's really great about that is it allows my foot to be pushed right up against the top of this, and it really feels like it is form-fitting to my foot, and that's really what I like about these shoes. I'm moving from the suburbs to the city, so I am going to be running more, biking more, and walking more. Not that I don't already do a lot of that anyway, so I need more support. Now, the thing is, they say these will help with fatigue on your feet. That's something that I'll be the judge of on that because, you know, everybody says, okay, the next running shoe is going to be great. This is good. I mean, it looks good. It looks cool. But for me, it's function over form every single time. And if these don't feel great, then, of course, I'm not going to go for it. But I was able to try these out in store. And I was able to talk to some of the employees. And by color selection alone, everybody wanted to go with the black top. And they had a mint white sole here. For me, I'm a big Lakers fan, so I chose something that's kind of purple with a white sole. Now, I wish they had a darker sole or black for this because these always get scuffed up. But what they do have as a special edition at the Nike Lab is they have an all black version, black sole, black top. But that goes for over 200 where these go for 175. I think these look good. I think that they are very functional for me. They're going to help me out with my running. I've been running up and down the street earlier here today. My feet feel pretty good. And normally when I wear the thinner soled shoes, those Nike Free Run 3.0s, my feet hurt a little bit. These are helping, but of course that's no test to be done. Nothing has really been done yet. So I'll have to do a lot more testing. Stick with me here because I'll be using these a lot, a lot, a lot going for runs and bikes in New York City. So if you have any, if you have any specific questions about this shoe or the line itself, put them in the comment section below or find us at 5149media at gmail.com. I'm a real big fan of these shoes so far, but nothing's perfect. So we'll see what works and what doesn't work. And for me, I've got into really reflective things. It has a little reflective marker here, so when you're running at night, it's a little bit safer, but it is not like the Flash series from Nike. The entire thing doesn't illuminate when lit up. But I think this color looks very good. What do you think? Would you have gone for the black with the white mint soles like everybody there said? Or would you like a colorful pair? They had this, they had bright yellow, which I think would get dirty in an instant. They had bright blue, they had bright red, and then they kind of had those um, mix of colors that Nike Flynets are really known for. So what, you have, what would have you gone for? And don't forget here, here's one thing. In normal shoes, I wear 10 and a half. In Nike Free Run 3.0s, I wear nine and a half. These ones also I wear nine and a half. So they fit differently than most normal shoes. So when you go to the store, make sure you try these on before you get them because they are gonna fit much differently than your traditional shoe. They are very much like a sock, especially with this bolstering for your ankle. And personally, I like it because most high tops, they put too much structure, but in this case, it allows for, for flexibility, but with support. So check them out. These are the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknits, and I really like the color that I chose. So check them out. Comments below. Email us at 5149media at gmail.com. Now this is the last review in Washington, D.C. For good. So I'll see you in New York. See you soon, guys.